the Kai Satsuken Shinjuku 24, if I've pronounced that correctly, is a light gun shooter that was released for the PlayStation 2 in 2002. And the game itself would also be otherwise known as Police 24-7 in other regions. The game would also be a port of an arcade release that would have been released two years prior, but just given access to the game for console users primarily. And the game would be compatible with many of the light gun peripherals that were seen on the console at the time. And it's your typical style of arcade shooter if you play games like Time Crisis, House of the Dead, Virtual Cop, among many of those other iconic games. This game kind of fits in that line. Although with regards to the game's reviews, the game didn't receive as good reviews compared to the more popular entries in the genre, stating that the game was quite clunky and at times a little bit unresponsive, and just wasn't as well put together in some cases compared to other games that were seen at the time. But it is decent enough to play in short blasts, but the PlayStation port wouldn't have been as well refined compared to the arcade port of the game. So as you play through the entirety of the level, you have to arrest or eliminate wanted criminals, and upon completing all of the main story missions will unlock various elements of the Japanese arcade version where you can play as, and you will also unlock additional features and weapons through acquiring different ranks for each level that you complete. And then you also have access to different modes such as challenge modes that allows you to compete across different challenges to complete different goals more specifically that will allow you again to acquire a variety of different items that you can only unlock through those modes themselves alongside of a set of mini games that also tries to change up the gameplay style. Now even though the game allows you to use various light gun peripherals you can also use the controller but if you don't have access to a light gun the controller will be the next option but in saying that that's where the game does fall short because even from my own experience I found that at times the controller setup isn't as responsive as it could have been. When you play games like of Virtual Cop there is Virtual Cop Elite Edition for the PS2. I actually have covered that previously on the channel so I'll make sure to drop a link to that video in the description and that there is actually a phenomenal light gun shooter and especially a really good port on the PS2 which upgraded graphics but even when you don't have a light gun to use you can still play it with the controller and it's so responsive and it's so well put together and so easy to control very easy to pick up and play regardless of the controller that you use but this game unfortunately doesn't have that same dynamic or easy to pick up and play appeal as the controls if you're using the control pad itself it's quite lackluster at times quite unresponsive and it just feels very very clunky and there's times it's very very hard to hit opponents because it doesn't react the same way even though it does genuinely take longer to move the, the reticle that's on screen towards your opponents sometimes it just doesn't work the same way that it would in other light gun games that would have been seen on the system at the time so in some ways it is kind of let down to that and it is clearly to see why with regards to the reviews as they pointed a lot of good elements with the game but some of the bad elements that was often discussed was down to the dull and lazy style of graphics and animations that does feel a little bit on the clunky side and then with civilians that constantly get in your line of fire so you'll end up hitting them a lot more and the problem is every time you hit a civilian you lose a life so eventually you can lose your lives very very quickly and the fact is even though it is compatible with some light guns it isn't compatible with the Namco G-Con gun which can definitely hamper the experience for a lot of players so while it does have some nice elements it wouldn't be classed as a decent game in its own right it, again it'd be one of the worst light gun shooters on the PlayStation which is a pity because it does have some unique elements but it just wouldn't be as well refined compared to other games with the likes of Time Crisis 2, Time Crisis 3 and again Virtual Cop as they are phenomenal games in their own right both in the arcade and in the console versions they are fantastic games to play if you're a fan of shooting games but again in saying that if you are looking for an alternative to these games this is another one that you can't try yet now it won't be for everybody but if you are a fan of these games there's no harm in having a look at it anyway but I would love to know your thoughts on this game if you have played it yourself and if so what do you think of it are you a fan of light gun shooters or even if you played this game at all and if so what are your thoughts of it so be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be updated for future videos and if you would like to see more content around other types of light gun games also seen on the ps2 you can check out this playlist here on screen to see more of those games in action and i will see you all in the next one